don't know if you guys be able to see it there, but, uh, mmm, coffee. Yeah, it's not supposed to be coffee colored. That's water. This is the, uh, Commercial 12, whatever the heck here it is. Maybe while sitting in here, I'll pick some of this paint off the hood. There's definitely white underneath of it. Oh, actually, the decal is still here, too. Yeah, maybe I will do that. Uh, see if I can't pick it off the, uh, the sticker here. Mm-hmm. Some of the decals left. Looks like down here it's about rusted off. But pick it this little bit and see if I can see. Mm-hmm. So, just started draining the transmission oil out of the 5200 here. You guys can see what I'm, what I'm working with. Um, I thought the transmission oil in that Commercial 12 was bad. This stuff here is worse. And I've actually used this a fair bit. So, I figure I better, I better change the water out here because it is getting to be winter. I, this one here could have been from sitting outside or... I swear it was pretty bad when I got it, is what I'm I'm thinking. I do kind of remember saying something about it and never doing anything. You guys remember how that happens? So I saw it the other day. Figured I'd change it. Fixed, uh, fixed the gas tank mounting bracket. I actually made a, this bracket here for it to sit on. It'd be nice if it was a little bit um, shorter there. But uh, should do all right. I might, if I ever have to take this tank back off or something, I can take a pair of, I guess I could slide it off. I still have to loosen this bolts and get it out of the uh anyhow and bend that up. <laughs> um but for right now it should be alright. So let me get this poured out of my oil pan into another jug. And I got some more to drain. Learn from my lesson last night. Don't go too far. Even though it looks like it's draining slow. I started tightening up the tire chain over here. And next time I looked over it was this full. Yeah. How she goes. Alrighty guys, so I think I showed you guys the video of the transmission oil in this. I think I took video of the transmission oil in that. At least what it looked like. They were both pretty um, creamy, watercolored. Yeah, I can uh, brighten up the subject a little bit. There we go. And I also changed the engine oil on this, which, best to my knowledge, I have never changed the engine oil in it, even since I've had it. I've added to it. Uh, it looks like the plastic drain plug on this side of the oil pan leaks, so what I should have did is while I had it out, I should have went and got a metal one, but I really don't like to leave motors without oil in them, just because if I manage to forget for some weird reason, but uh, everything seems good here, so I'm going to tomorrow night, hopefully... I'm going to clear out the project bay here, and I don't know what the next project is going to be, but um, when I figure it out, I'll get there, because i got to change the uh, the front axle bushings in the 432, and I, I'm not going to make a video about that or anything. I've showed putting them bushings in the 424, if I remember right. Um... So yeah, I really think the next like long, longer term ish project is gonna bring be to bring that uh, 69 432 in and swap that motor on and see if we can't get it to run good. Uh, between the two motors, I should have enough parts to put one the whole way back together, and then all the other one will be basically a block like uh, like that. Um, cause I think the other one has a flywheel screen and everything, a starter on that one, there's a coil on that one already, there's a carb on there, it seems to work halfway decent. It'd be nice to have new points in coil and condenser. What? don't have that at the moment. Add that to the list of things, you guys know how that goes, but, uh, may, uh, Start checking some oil on some rider transmissions and make sure they're in there for winter and they're not filled with water. It's, it's the last warm night tonight, so I should have changed or er, cleaned the window on the 16G cab, but I, I did not. Story of my life. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But uh, anyhow, 
going to pack it in for tonight. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind in the background. You guys can probably hear the TV better than the wind, but it's windy. Trust me. So, okay, that's it for tonight. Later, guys. Thursday night update. I bought a five-gallon jug of 10W30, changed two transmission oils, one engine, pail is half gone. So, it's only 50 bucks for five-gallon, though. That ain't bad. Because normally, if I buy the Valvoline oil, it's 20 bucks per gallon. So, in theory, five gallons would be uh, like $100. Right? 20 times 5? Yeah. So in reality, I save 50 bucks. Obviously, it's not Valvoline. It's Traveler, but... Eh. Ain't like I, I run my stuff all day, every day, long. And actually, I put Traveler oil in the 9N. It's got that 30 weight in it over there. So, Okay. That's it. Done. Done BSing. Later, guys.